welcome to another session of rumi recitations uh, after a rather long break i welcome you all back to my uh, sessions and uh, today i am going to recite few more verses from the masnavi e maulana jalaluddin rumi and let's see what he has to offer to us today ruz ha gar rif gurad bok nist tu bama e on kichun atma pak nist हर के जुज माहिज आबश से शुद्ध हर के बेरोजी सत रोजिश दे शुद्ध मौलाना से इज दैट विदाउट द डेज आर पासिंग वेरी रैपिडली आई डोंट केयर इफ द पास यू नो इफ यू आर नॉट देयर इफ द बलवर्ड इज नॉट देयर इफ माय मोशद इज नॉट देयर Or, or my object of desire is not there. I don't care if days are passing, and they don't worry me. Har ke juz mahi isi abish sir shud. I mean, har ke berozi sast rozish ter shud. Like the fish, you know, who is never he gives the then he invokes the symbol of fish. He says like like the fish, you know. Ah. Uh, how can you separate fish from the water from the sea water he says that is the story of the lover as far as he, his or her relationship with the beloved is concerned he says that uh, uh, it doesn't matter how can you separate the fish from the water how can you separate the fish from the water and how can you uh, similarly keep the lover away from the uh beloved so the alchemy of love what the rumi is trying to say to us is that the alchemy of love depends on the perpetual witnessing and on the perpetual engagement of the heart with the uh with the with the beloved with the murshid with the god with the prophet what what, what is your love it may be your some worldly goal some worldly desire might become you know act like a sea for you and you are the fish of wealth you are running after the wealth you are running after power you are running after sex it depends what is your choice either you are going for the peace of heart if you are going for the peace of heart then you should find a murshid you should find you should discover you should look into your heart and connect it with the prophet prophet muhammad you should connect it with your uh, the perfect murshid you should you should connect it with god you know and and uh, create their zikr inside your heart their zikr you know that will give you the zikr of your murshid the zikr of your prophet the zikr of god it will give you peace of heart so rumi says that the lover cannot be kept Uh, is no is never satisfied you know with the mention of his or her beloved like the fish fish you know it lives within the sea and it is always driving and uh, navigating within the deep waters but it is never satisfied uh, with the water it want more it want more and similarly if you look at look at this symbol and sign from a Uh, materialistic and from the uh, hedonistic perspective if you are a fish worldly fish and your satisfaction the satisfaction you, you are you believe in the sensory satisfaction and satisfaction of your material gains and objective then the sea serve then your beloved might be the uh, worldly power then your beloved your uh, um, beloved might be the wealth accumulation of wealth a status or the of having uh, luxury cars you know of uh, you know becoming a powerful man becoming a a, a strong person so it the, the choice is yours uh, either you are choosing a material materialistic hedonistic commodified way of life or you are choosing a spiritualistic egalitarian empathic way of life a caring way of life in which your source of uh peace and tranquility comes from giving from giving from giving from being 
and not from having, not possessing, not controlling, not owning, you disown, you give away. So love plays a very important role and it is the triangle of love, lover and beloved which transforms the ego, which transforms the being, which transforms the existence and which transforms largely the whole society. When a person is transformed, you know, one by one, the whole society becomes transformed. So that is all today for the Rumi recitation. Thank you very much.